Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and today Apple released watchOS 9.3 RC. This is the release candidate or the final version that's released to developers and public beta testers before it's released to the public. As long as there's no additional issues, this will be the version released to the public. And this came in at a fairly small 224 megabytes. That's on the Apple Watch Ultra, but it can vary depending on device. And as far as supported devices, well, it supports every device that's supported with watchOS 9. So if you have watchOS 9, you'll be able to install this version, whether it's the developer version or the public version when that comes out a little bit later. We'll talk more about when to expect that in a little bit. Now, along with this, Apple also released a ton of different updates iOS 16.3 RC, iPadOS 16.3 RC, macOS 13.2 RC, tvOS and HomePod OS 16.3 RC, iOS 15.7.3 RC, and iPadOS 15.7.3 RC. Lots of different updates today for developers and beta testers, and also even a public update to AirPods. So those are available for AirPods, AirPods Pro, AirPods 3, and AirPods Max, not AirPods Pro second generation for some reason, or older AirPods. So those are available now. Now, as far as if you're wondering if you should uninstall the beta profile, if you're a beta tester, well, I would probably wait just in case there's a release candidate too. That's unlikely, but if there is, you'll want to hold off just to make sure you have that. Either way, when the final version comes out, you probably just had it early, but if they do have a release candidate too, you'll probably have another update at that point. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the build number and talk about what's new. So on our watch, we'll go over to settings and under settings, we'll go to general, then about, and then version number is here where you can see the actual build of 20S648. This should be the final version released to the public, like I said before. Now this particular update does not include a ton of changes, but there are a few things worth noting. The first one is some new watch faces or a new watch face. So if we go into our watch faces, you'll see here, there's a new unity mosaic watch face. If we go into that, this is to celebrate black history month. And as you can see here, if we tap on more, it says inspired by the creative process of mosaic. This watch face symbolizes the vibrancy of black communities and the power of unity. When you raise your wrist, elements on the face unite to show the time. Red, black, and green represent the Pan American flag, and you can customize the face by adding an accent color. So you have all of these accent colors. We also have a similar wallpaper that was added to iOS 16.3 RC. And on our iPhone, we also have a Unity wallpaper here that if we go into it, it has a new font that's bolded and rounded, and also you can change and customize the colors as well. So that's available along with a new wristband for your Apple Watch as well for the same thing for Black History Month, just like they did a couple years ago or a year ago or so. Now, as far as the way it looks on your watch, if we go over here, you can see it on the watch. That's what it looks like. And if we put our wrist down, let's see if this works, bring it back up it fills in the color. So again, that's the new watch face. Now, as far as anything else new, well, they haven't mentioned anything at all. However, as far as bug fixes, it really just says in their notes, which you can see here, that we have improvements in bug fixes. I wish Apple would give us more information about that. However, overall connectivity seems to be better with overall syncing speed and also connectivity to things such as AirPods. So if we try and connect our AirPods Pro 2 here. Let's go back. We'll go into our Bluetooth and you can see AirPods Pro 2, wherever they are here. AirPods Pro 2, it says they're already connected. So they connect incredibly fast. I've had no issues with it with these 9.3 updates. It seems to be really good and syncing these seems to be fast. So it seems like they've fixed the issues we had with Bluetooth. As far as other new features, well, I don't think Apple has many new features because they're slowly rolling them out over time. If we go into our workouts this past week, we had new time to walk episodes. We also had some additions with kickboxing and they continually add different workouts to fitness plus and some other things from time to time. It just sort of pushes to the watch now, and that may be the future of updates overall. Now, additionally, we do have some security updates that will show up the day that this comes out. Now, Apple never updates this until it's actually released to the public. So you'll see it's currently showing the older releases such as watchOS 9.2 and iOS 16.2. Once this is released to the public, we'll actually see the final updates here as to what they've updated with their security. 
As far as when to expect iOS 16.3 and watchOS 9.3 and all of the other updates, well, I would expect that as soon as Monday. Typically with the 16.1.2 and other updates, they're usually on a Monday. Apple has not said this specifically, but we do know it's coming out next week based off their press release of the Apple Unity Bands today. So if we go to the Apple Newsroom, you'll see here on the press release, it says the new Unity iPhone wallpaper for the lock screen will also be available next week and requires iPhone 8 or later running iOS 16.3. So that should be available as soon as next week. So I would expect Monday and then we'll move on to iOS 16.4 and watchOS 9.4 betas as well. Usually that same week or early the next week where we move into more features, but I don't expect a ton of features as I think Apple has something planned for iOS 17. Maybe not. Maybe it's a st stability update, very seemingly like what we have with watchOS 9, but either way, it seems to be pretty good so far for me. As far as overall battery life, well, if we go into our settings, we go back, let's go to our battery here scroll down under battery. You'll see I'm currently at 97%. You can see where it charged. That's when it installed the update, but typically it easily gets me through a day. My battery health is at 100% and I wear this every day. It's lasting pretty well. And when I used it at Las Vegas, walking 10 to 20,000 steps a day with CES, the consumer electronics show, this actually seemed to last at least 50% when I went to bed, I had at least 50% left. Performance seems to be really good as well, and I've had no issues whatsoever. So it seems like this is probably the most stable version of any current update. It seems to be really nice that way, and hopefully we get more of that with iOS as well. Now, one other thing I wanted to mention quickly is that along with this press release, Apple also not only announced those new Black Unity or Black History Month updates with the Unity collection. Yesterday, they introduced the MacBook Pro M2 Pro and M2 Max, along with a Mac Mini M2 and M2 Pro, as well as today, a new HomePod. That was a bit of a surprise. So lots of updates. Maybe we'll get something later today or tomorrow. Either way, we've had an awful lot of updates. And so that's everything with watchOS 9.3 RC. Maybe we'll get some more with 9.4, but if you've found anything else, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. And of course, if you'd like to get your hands on this wallpaper, I'll link it in the description like I normally do. If you haven't subscribed already though, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.